Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, September 11th. You're here at the weekly DEI, I almost said community call, DEI working group call for chaos. Great to see you all here. Minutes are in the chat. If you need them again, just holler, that's okay. Here they are. Okay, I didn't even, I couldn't even think of a new question this, this morning. I was like, I, I don't know. Can you stay up and uh, wait? That's probably what's keeping you. If you can like reliving <laughs> that, you know, that'll probably <laughs> I, I have been setting my alarm earlier because I thought I'd be yeah. more productive in the morning. That doesn't help. It just makes no, me tired. You have to go to bed <laughs> just that, instead of trying to get up earlier, you just need you, you gotta do the other side of it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think I'm like Elizabeth. If I wake up early, I'm useless. Right. It's it's counterintuitive, but it's the truth. It's how it goes. It's funny because okay. I'm prioritizing sleep right now, as I put in there. So I see that. That's good. Maybe I should. Maybe I should also prioritize. Prioritize sleep. Yeah, the last I had Mark sleeps at nine PM. I was like, What? Oh, I went to bed <laughs> earlier than that last night. I didn't want anything to do with the debate. I just, I didn't oh. know any of it. <laughs> I was like, I at 9 p it's like at 9 p.m. I'm just coming back from my biking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should work together, Enoch. We can like cover all 24 hours in a day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's up at 4 a.m. <laughs> Enoch's going to bed at 4. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about good and productive. Yeah, it'll be a good team. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> That's great. Uh, okay, let's hop into our agenda. Um, cadence of meeting. That's a good question. Did Matt, did you put this on here? I put all of these things in here. So, except for the job. I, hey, I did put the job channel. That's the one. I, but I was like, I got nothing else. I don't know. I, the um, only, I, it's not for like um, an importance of DEI within the project kind of question or the fact that you know, we do a lot of things. I just, this is the only meeting that is every week that's not the community meeting. We have turned every other chaos meeting into a biweekly cadence and it, it they work well in the other meetings. And so it's just that that's the only reason I brought it up. I think it's a valid I think it's a valid uh, conversation for sure. I I would not have a problem with it, honestly. Um, I mean, as <laughs> I'm struggling to find things to put on the agenda, so <laughs> you know, um, having a having two weeks in between, I think would be fine. I don't know if others have strong feelings about it or ideas. Lesser meetings have no strong feelings about them. To me, well, I think um, um for the meetings I've been here, I feel like bi-weekly is really good enough gives us chance to have a longer agenda too it does and i think a lot of the weekly meetings were they were kind of started before we used slack as much as we do okay. and so that was kind of that was why we had to connect so often and now slack does you know even just on occasion you know fill in issues that we might have over the course of those two weeks. So people post things in Slack, they ask questions in Slack, they, anyway, we do have another channel that provides support. Yeah. I agree, I agree. I also think too, weirdly with a weekly meeting, it's not as, I won't say important or special, but people often may be like, well, I'll just catch next week. You know, and it's it's almost like uh, because it does happen so often, <laughs> there's not the the not the sense of urgency of like, oh, I'm you know, I'm yeah. going to be out of the loop or or whatever. Like, am I making sense? Probably not. But you know, if if it's a if it's a meeting that only happens once in a while, I, I'll probably make a more of a point to be there. Is it? Me it is it for it? Am I right in that it is the only meeting other than the weekly community call that meets uh, every week? Yes, and uh, there are there. I think there is a 
couple of the newer Chaos Africa meetings that are happening every week just because they're brand new and okay. they're trying to get started. So they're, they are touching base every week. Okay. I don't think that will last. I don't foresee that to be the, the cadence moving forward because that's that has been the progression of the other Chaos Africa special meetings like that, like the developers meeting, design meeting, those are all two weeks. Okay. So. Okay. I mean, we could bring it up at a community meeting too and just see if anybody has any concerns or, you know, I don't know. I'd rather just start doing it and bring it up in the community meeting and say, this is, you know, we're moving to a biweekly cadence starting now um, just to be in line with the other meetings or a biweekly, whatever you say it, <laughs> every two week cadence. Yeah. The only the only tiny bit of concern I would have is that the, it would be the optics if people think that means we're deprioritizing DEI. I, yeah, which we're I, I not. Don't, no, that was not the intention at all. Right. And maybe we just keep saying that that this has yeah. nothing to do with you know moving DEI. We're just kind of saying like we continue to you know the center of DEI within the chaos project. And yeah. I, yeah, I imagine if we just kept, yes, if we mention it in the DEI channel and the folks who usually come, then it'll be fine. We'll just change. Yeah. Okay. So the only, the only like thing would be, you know how we, and it's not a big deal, I don't think, but the, um, like, Half meeting you would propose to help people with the DEI.md file. Yeah. Like we had said that's on the first meeting of the or the first Wednesday of the month. We'll just have to say it's on the first meeting of the month. First meeting of the month. Yeah. I mean, we had so many people come to that last one. I don't know. <laughs> It'll take some time. It, it will. Yeah, for sure. So it's fine to change it now because nobody has expectations. So. Yeah. And I, I say we just start now. It, it probably, yeah, there's a lot of folks that are going to be at OSSEU next week anyway. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. And it probably will also take some uh, just reminding people that we're doing this because if, if people are kind of used to coming, they may just forget. Um, maybe for a while, like you could just show up for the first like five minutes. Yeah. for like one or, one or two of them or something. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm, yeah, I'm happy with le one less meeting on my calendar for sure. Okay, that was it. Awesome. Anybody else have any questions, comments, concerns about that? Feel free to jump in here. Okie dokie. Um, the next one is about these uh, AI note takers. So I know they're super helpful for folks uh, in some cases, but um, I don't, I don't know. I don't, yeah. What do we think? Well, in all of our meetings, there has never been a request to have to keep them. The, in the, in the community call, we brought this up. We have brought it up here. It's always been that no, we don't want them. Unless I've missed something, which is possible, but you've been in those meetings too, Elizabeth. I haven't heard anybody. Um, so what I did was I wrote a small piece of text right there, like really fast. Well, I appreciate your, well, we appreciate your interest in our community conversations. We kindly ask that you do not use AI note-taking tools in our meetings. All of our meetings are recorded and provided on YouTube and all of our meeting minutes are publicly available. Just, and that's, that would just be 
the statement that we put out or just kind of the logic. I mean, everything we have is public. Right. If somebody wants to maybe use the AI note takers. I think you could probably set them against the YouTube video. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. So where should we put this? Where should we? I don't know. Post I, okay. No, I, it just it could just be a statement that we have in like our back pocket. Okay. I think we can set the the AI note takers to auto remove. I think I'm pretty I sure we can do that. Can. Yeah. I'm so curious about the accuracy of the note takers, given that we have meetings um, and we have diversity in the meetings. One of the um, things we uh, could, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Enoch. No, 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 no. I was just wondering how accurate they would be if someone relied yeah. on them. I wonder, Elizabeth, you're logged in as Chaos Community right now. I am. Do you have like AI summary? Um, let me, let me see here. Polls, quizzes, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I swear there was something in Zoom that was like Jen. And AI oh, there's one that says annotate. Does that, what no, does that do? If I... That's the, the captions. Uh, oh, no, I think it means I can go here and be like oh, uh, gotcha. on the screen. So anybody could, could do that. Okay. So let me not do that anymore. Oh, so right. now that's like- a, That's okay. We can keep that there. It's on my screen. Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> How does Zoom work? I don't know. Let's, let's find out. Uh, I thought there was like an AI companion or something. I, like. I believe there is. And the only thing I can think of is that we had uh i think you maybe have to enable it at the beginning or hello i'm not sure hey hey hi yeah so um i'm not sure if it's an ai note taking tool but when you choose to turn on captions you would realize that like notes are being taken and if you press on captions and go to view view full transcript you realize mm -hmm. that like everything everyone has said is written there with their names and like the time stamps but that is inbuilt yeah. in zoom and sorry in yeah in zoom zoom yeah so do we um elizabeth <laughs> do we provide the transcripts that henrietta points out like when we post I usually don't. Okay. Because I don't, well, I don't know how accurate that is. If it's but, taking it from this right now, what we're speaking, you know, this closed, closed caption, it's often wrong. Yes. Yeah, with all of us speaking different English, I don't, I don't think even the AI note takers would be accurate. So where do you see it? How do you see those? So usually, um, I anyone can actually see it if you okay. click on captions and go to view transcripts. But after the meeting, whoever organizes the meeting actually gets an entire transcript. I don't know if participants also get it, but I have had meetings where someone turned on the captions and later when I went, I saw like the entire transcript of the meeting oh, okay yeah i do i do see that whenever i pull up the recordings that is a separate file and you can attach it to youtube but i always just figured that were it was super wrong and i have seen like <laughs> inappropriate words th that it thinks have been said end up in there so i just leave it off but we can i mean we can do something with it if we want we just would need to Make sure. Well, maybe to Henrietta's point, like it's kind of there available somewhere <laughs> in the internet. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and I think that um, actually, yeah, I think that when. So Henrietta, so if I 
I should know this, but I don't remember. If I go to YouTube and I look at some of our videos and if we have turned on closed caption when we're recording, just like we are doing now, those actually do show up as part of the recording, even though I don't attach a, se a separate file. Is that right? So I'm not sure I about that. I, admit, I, I haven't ever recorded and put on YouTube using the closed captions, but I think there is a setting in Zoom and maybe you should check it out. There's a setting that allows um, participants to have access to the close the like the transcript or not i i'm not too certain but i think there's a setting like that there should be a setting like that okay i think i know what you're talking about in zoom it comes with the like there's like a package of recording so it's like the video the audio separate the transcript like it all comes and usually i just pull the video i don't download all of it so okay so, so i'm was, actually go ahead henrietta Sorry, you go ahead. Okay, then let no, me, no. let me finish your thought. So I was actually talking about like, um, when you are making the settings for your Zoom calls, right? Um, the privileges that are given to participants. So for example, people can join in muted or unmuted, people can chat, etc. So I think at that part, I'm trying to look for it. There is, there is a, there is a place where you can or cannot allow people to have like the transcript of the entire meeting. You can disable it, I think so. That's what I'm trying to look for. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about now. So do we want to let people do that or no? See the transcript? Yes. I I, in, so. in in place of the note taker, I think is what Henrietta was saying, like, it's already being captured somewhere. So like, if we just, if we want to kick out the note takers, maybe we say, if you want these notes, you can read the transcript yeah. here, but. Yes, I think that's fine. Okay. Like I was listening to Henrietta talk and you talk like, look at all these, like all these things, we're giving people a lot of access to our meetings in a lot of different ways. Yeah. And so that's. I think this is why we we'd rather have our meetings just be people still yeah. at this point. Um, also, I think even YouTube has its own <laughs> its own closed caption as well. It so does. You can turn. So it's really yeah. not like <laughs> we, it's we're not providing so many things in so many different <laughs> ways that I don't know that we need to invite AI bots for meetings. Yeah. I think if you have like concerns about having AI note tickets, then I think you'd have to also take out the captions because then it kind of defeats the purpose of taking out the AI bots or the AI note takers. Mine is more about it's not about a concern of like transcription or you know capturing what we say. It's more about just kind of like looking at the people who are on the call and knowing that every person is a person who is here. Yeah, so like when, when Matt and I joined, it was Matt, myself, and Enoch, and there were more bots than there were people. So I think that's what Matt, Matt's saying is like, that's kind of what we're trying to avoid is just everybody throwing their bot in here and then there's no people to actually have a conversation because everybody's like, well, I couldn't make it, so just tell me tell me what happened, but like, then there's no people to actually have a conversation with. So, okay, okay, I now I now understand. Then that's fine. Then the captions are fine. Yeah, they help with especially people who don't have English as a first language. A lot of them turn on their captions so that they can actually read what is being said as well. So it's fine. Cool. Yeah, I do agree with that bit of it for sure. I think um, captions are great for that reason too. Or if you're in a place where you can't really turn on the audio and you wanna just participate, but yeah. Okay, so I will, I'll just check this for an auto remove. Um, I see uh, I see Yiga's in here. Yiga, did you have any um, like 
uh, concerns with not being able, because I, I know your bot was one of them that was in here. Like, is that, do you have concerns with us not having them in here? I guess is my question. Okay, I think you're probably not in a place where you can chat, so no worries. Just let us know. We can also take it to Slack if there's something that you want to say but aren't able to say it today. You can just put it in Slack. That's totally fine. Okay, yeah, let's go yeah, ahead. I'll, I'll just say, too, to that point, like, you get, if there is a, like a, a reason that it's important, just say that, too. Like, all, all info is good info here. Yeah, for sure. Agreed, agreed. Okay, so in the community channel, I just wanted to let y'all know, uh, the community channel, community call, um, we were talking about opening a job channel in our Slack for people to post open source jobs, and everybody seemed to be down with that and behind it, so we're going to do that. And I wanted to just make sure people in here knew about that as well, so I will start that probably today. Um, and there you go, Hamza. There you go. There's the meeting notes. Oh, I'll just put a thing here, Elizabeth, to start today. So we'll, we'll po post an announcement in general when that's done, if that's cool. Anybody here have any concerns about that? In case you weren't in the meeting yesterday. We decided we would just kind of see how it goes. We're gonna leave it open for now. Most, we're gonna tell people it's mostly for open source jobs. I think, um, but if we get other random ones that are sort of related, that'll probably be all right. We'll just have to see how it goes. Yeah, um, okay, um, next one. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm I'm saying I like the idea. I think Open SSF has such a um, such a program, but it's on their website actually. But it's only tailored to open source jobs that are within what the foundation does only but it's on their website not in slack so i'm happy to see where this will go yeah yeah and matt says same oh. with to do is yeah it's awesome i think we i mean i guess technically we could say it has to be around open source open source health metrics but i think that might be a little bit too a little too narrow <laughs> So we'll just leave it a little more open. Someday, that's our hope. That there's just flooded with jobs on open source health metrics. Um, okay, anything else on the job channel before we go on? I didn't mean to cut that short. Okay, let's go on to tour guides. Uh, Seek Mary Blessings on today. Is this working? I. I can speak to what goes on in the newcomer channel um, mm -hmm. or in the newcomer hangouts. I mean, um, I know that people have been using them. I don't know if okay. if like we don't I don't know if we have metrics around like how many or if they've been helpful <laughs> or not. I think Mary Blessing has just been taking all of the all of the requests herself because there haven't been a ton. Honestly, there haven't been many. But, right. Um, okay. I was just curious, we still have the, there is a Slack channel that is like, it's a private Slack channel for tour guides. It's like, do we need that anymore? I don't, yeah, I don't know. We can ask my blessing. I guess there was September is it 27th, gone? No, 2023, and then Kingsley, looks like there were some people added to it just like a week ago. Oh. So maybe, anyway, okay. <laughs> maybe yes then. <laughs> um, let's just check with Mary Blessing for maybe an update. Maybe she can give us an update next, next time. Okay. That'd be great. Okay. And if it's working, um, that's great. I just hadn't been involved in it for a while. And so just curious yeah it, that's a it's totally valid it's it's kind of like um 
I think it's still running under the scenes, but just not uh, maybe as active as it could be. So maybe we need to promote it a little bit more for people. Okay. Oh, geez, now I have this eye on my screen. I know, I've noticed that the whole time. <laughs> Sorry, so annoying and distracting. I don't know how to get rid of it. I want to add one. <laughs> <laughs> you can just hit annotate, I think, if you have that. I don't have it. <laughs> I think I can give you permission to do so. That's okay. <laughs> oh, it says dis disable annotation for others. So I think you should be able to do it, but I don't know. I guess you can't. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Sorry, y'all going down my ADHD road with me today. <laughs> my brain is a little bit all over the place. Okay. Uh, updates on the badging site. It was down for a bit. Enoch, anything um, you want to update us on? I think it you fixed that right you figured it yeah. out yeah um i fixed that it was because there was um a package which is maintained by only one person welcome to open source and then last week someone made an update and this automation ran but the package wasn't able to upload the files to the server so that they can be run and displayed on the websites but while i was going through all the stuff it showed that everything ran successfully, but this package skipped uploading the files. So that's why there was an issue with um, the website. But then today morning, I checked on the sign up for the project budging and um, looks like the, it affected the authentication too. So probably if you can just go to budging.chaos.com and go to project budging and see if you can. I want to make sure it's not on my end only. Go to project budging. Try sign logging in with GitHub or GitLab. It still says yeah. Oh, okay. It, it was on my. It was. It was. It was my. It was my end. Okay, now works fine. Yeah, that was the issue. It took me a while to notice that. Enoch, do you are you the only person that can? track that problem down? I think I am not. And Adinka could correct me if I'm wrong. But I know we are three of us who have um, credentials to, well, I can't think of, I don't know whether the others can track it down, but I'm not the only one with access to all those places I had to fix the error okay. from. But I replaced it with another open source tool managed by one person. <laughs> so we're good for a six, six months or a year. <laughs> <laughs> we need to track project sustainability. <laughs> we need to contribute to the upstream is what we need to do. Actually do yeah, the open right. source work. Uh, yeah, someone somewhere has a very useful tool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. As you said, Enoch, welcome to open source. Yeah. I just want to make sure that for our own, like our own project, that we have a couple people who could take a look at this because it's just yeah. it's a single maintainer thing, right? On our own. Yeah, yeah. It's very important. And I'm really not sure. Adinka, I, I don't know that Adinka is on this call, but I'm sure. not sure whether um, sh we had some other person who was helping me manage all this stuff from the back end. And I'm not sure how far he is into understanding all this stuff. Okay. Maybe it's not something to solve here, but just something to yeah, think yeah. about. Okay. Sure. Okay. Anything um, else? Go ahead, Anything. So we have another person. We actually used to have um, some people who had DevOps knowledge and could work with the server, but um, I think one of them is on the break now. And that person is Desmond. So if um, um, Enoch and Doug did not deliver, um, I think uh, Desmond could work on that. So, uh, but I agree with Mark. I think um, you should have more than people who actually know a lot about the server. I am just learning that because back in the engineering, it's different from devops. 
So I can't see anything. So, um, I think it's just for us to come together you know, and then try to see if probably we have one more person as an interested in knowing this. And then we can do like a work like you did for the budget board and I was able to pick it up from here. From here. Cool. That's that's really helpful because we don't have a ton of public facing stuff and the you know that kind of requires like a, there's some sort of immediacy behind it. Um, but that is definitely one of them. So having a couple people or a team is really great. Anything else we want to chat about for badging? Well, there was the, I guess the other part was the, if there were any updates, well, you know, people have updates here about <clears throat> the efforts to like, for event badging to not get it so they cut and paste an issue. What was that? Like, um, trying to avoid copying and pasting? Yeah. Yeah, I think, um, I had a dink I talk about that in one of the previous meetings. I do not know okay. how far she's following that up. But I think there is there is a motive to do that. So I'm wondering we would somebody has already been working on it. We are just yet to make it clear. So I'm on I'm on um I'm on their neck in coach. <laughs> So we'll make it work. Okay. Um, Would it... I don't want to talk about the issue. Sorry about that, Matt. Well, I was I was gonna ask if it would make sense to have like some people from that group who are working on that join this call in two weeks to give an update on how things are going and what challenges they might be having. Okay. I will know that. That'd be great. Not expecting it to be done by any means, but just like how things are going, you know? Okay. And then yeah, I, especially I, if you're running into problems or like need access or need, need something, then yeah, we want to make sure they have what they need. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. And then the last thing on our agenda is the education updates. And I don't see if you're here today. Um, I do see. Oh, OK. Hi, Lucy. Lucy has a lot to say about the education updates as well. Um, I do see things coming and going in the repo. I do, too. Like, yeah, so that's good. Um, but yeah, maybe we should have a uh, like a, I don't know, I don't want to put a date on it, but um, something where we can say, okay, it's, it's ready. You know, it's ready for people to go through and use and you know what I mean? Actually, I do see this. Let me, um... hold on just a second. So there's a new, A new template that Peculiar had put together. I can share it here. So can you stop your share for a second? Yeah, happy to. There you go. Peculiar also has a blog post that's in the queue for um, posting about education as well. So this is a slide deck. Yeah. <clears throat> that she put together. So here's me. Ta -da. Yeah, I loved this. Have you I seen loved it? Too? Yeah, yeah. She sent it to me just for like my eyes before she started, you know, promoting it around. And I just I love I really it. I, it too. So good. Yeah. So I'm going to use that for the intro to chaos. Okay. Uh, I just need to pour over and, and do that video. Okay.
No, I thought I just I responded to it. I thought it was great. I, I do. OK, so this is the like the educator in me. We should probably take a look at the classes that we have or the, you know, the modules that we have done and think about like the sequence of those courses. So it's, it's really no different than say like a high school or a college curriculum where you have, it's called scope and sequence, where you have the individual courses themselves, but they are meant to work together in a particular way. And it's almost like the prerequisite stuff. And of course we wouldn't have prerequisites, but you know, before you take <laughs> advanced Java programming, you should probably take <laughs> programming 101. Like this is our recommended sequence of courses. And of, of course anybody could jump around, but it might be nice to provide at least a little map. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I think as someone new to the project, that is gonna be extremely helpful. Like, just tell me what, cause you don't know what you don't know. And so to jump around is sometimes tricky. So I, I personally am the kind that like, I like to be told what to do, what to do in that way. Start, like just start don't here me. and then here are your two options after this class and here are yeah. your three options after these. <laughs> That's a great idea. So I, I dumped that down in the minutes. Okay probably just get a sense of what has been completed and what is actually available at this point. Yep. Okay, Any uh, anything else? I'm good. All right, if nobody has anything else. We have a little bit, eight minutes left. There is something well, else. And we'll see you in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Don't forget, two weeks. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you here in two weeks. Bye. 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 Bye.